quick pause so I can load up the next episode. That looks to be about right. This is episode two of Ambition. Is that what it said, Ambition? I kind of wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I think I'd go crazy too if I woke up to this. This isn't blood. What is it then? Beet juice would be my guess. Two infants were found abandoned in Honeydew Park this afternoon. They had been in the care of their father who was involved in a bomb incident earlier. Two infants were unharmed and have been returned to the care of their mother. Yeah, because that's the smart thing. Gail, how can we enjoy ourselves at parties if you're going to get jealous? Helen, if you insist on flirting, I'm going to get you jealous. You asked if I thought there was a solution to the conflict in the Middle East. And what did you say? No. There, you see, you were flirting. <laughs> I was not. It's cold. He was really asking whether the two of you could resist the urge to get into each other's hands. That is ridiculous. Even he knows it's cold. Yes, it is possible for the two of us to rise above our base instincts and get along. Stop making fun of me. I don't like that. It would have been a clear turn-off. He would have left you alone. Yale? Do not stop for him. He's standing in the middle of the road. Go around! As you can see, there are two parts to this story. I will play through both. Uh, the only thing that's really different are the choices, but still, they're kind of interesting to see. Let's go with the Yale. Do not ever talk to me like that. Are you stopping? You're damn right. Stop it! God bless you both for stopping. What the hell is your problem? I'd like a bit of a rock patch right now. Could you help me find my kid? Are you such a loser that you have to pick up a total stranger to feel good about yourself? Are you such a loser that you ignore people in need? I'm not the loser, okay? I don't have to prove anything to anybody. Excuse me. Except maybe an over history professor who's willing to overlook no. your obvious ignorance of the Middle hey, East. If you two don't shut up, I'm gonna blow us all to hell. Great. You want me to run the roadblock? Yes. Don't be an idiot. I have a bomb. You tip off the police, I blow us all to hell. The light. <laughs> What's your name? Dead. Okay, Ted. I don't know what kind of trouble you're in, but I can help. I'm a lawyer. You have two choices. Resist the shot, or surrender, and let me help you get justice. Take me to my kids and nobody gets hurt. It's too late. If you want to see your kids, you've got to do what I say. Would you mind stepping out of the vehicle? Hello, Yale. Hi, Angie. Put a rope on your dog, would you? Angie? She's a psychiatrist and police negotiator. Then she must be Dr. Somebody or other. You call her Angie? I want everybody out of the vehicle. If anybody moves, I blow us all to hell. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I like that option, but let's not. Actually, I think it's a little bit off. That's better. Uh, let's go with this. Hold on. But I think I should introduce Helen to Angie and make that okay first before Helen does something foolish. He got a point. Yeah, let's go with what he said. Dr. Killip, I'd like you to meet my wife, Helen. My beautiful wife, Helen. Call me Angie. Your husband has a very impressive mind. I'm going to throw up. Oh, I thought you were attracted to my body. <laughs> No, that ain't right. Uh, yeah, let's go with this. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Are you okay? Just like a woman. Well, wake up, sweetheart. 
sweetheart. Your actions have consequences. Shut up, Greaseball, and mind your own business. You shut up, you wicked sprite. You're the spawn of the same devil as my ex-wife. They're both just buckets of sunshine, aren't they? Now listen, you. Do not say anything bad about my wife. Whoa. All right. I'm sorry. I take that back. Thanks, Gail. You're beginning to sound a little bit like the man I married. I am the man you married. Now, if you just back off for a moment, I'd like to try to defuse... Be my guest. Ted, I want you to surrender now so we can start the process of reuniting you with your kids. Do you think you can do that? Can you get me back my kids? If anybody can, I can. God bless you. <laughs> I need a cigarette. All right, he's coming out. Don't shoot. Well, that's half of episode two, man. You're under oh. arrest for dangerous use of explosives, attempted murder, child abandonment. You don't have to worry about your daddy. They're going to put him away where he won't be able to hurt you or himself. Now, come on. If you're both going to get big and strong, you have to eat your beans. Ambition. This episode of Ambition is brought to you by the Stickfeld Handy Group Online Negotiation Training. Let's play from the other character's point of view, and then I'll, put, then I'll try episode three. I have so much trouble with that one. <laughs> 